Business Brain, the Entrepreneur's Podcast, episode 406 for Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Business Brain, the show where we talk about how we can apply our business brains to all kinds of things, including our own businesses and also our lives. All kinds of stuff. Sponsors for this episode include Shopify.com slash SBS. That's where you're going to go to get your 14-day trial and full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. We'll talk more about that in depth in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, California, I am Shannon Jean. I'm excited to do this show today. Uh, same. Different. Yeah, it's, it is going to be different. Yeah, the, the uh, I have a... a sort of an accidental system anecdote to share uh, in a minute here. But uh, yeah, folks, the second half of this episode is going to be hopefully a candid conversation between the two of us, Shannon and and me uh, about what to do with the show, because I'm going to be perfectly candid and honest. Although I I'm always honest on this show. (laughs) I was going to say you are. Yeah. 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 Uh, I've, I've been trying to remove the word, honestly from my vocabulary because it's it's one of those uh speech patterns vo- verbal tick kind of things that you that i use to underscore a point right uh but the problem is and and a a, a former m a guy that i worked with pointed this out to me he said uh he said yeah don't say honestly say candidly because when you say honestly you have the potential to communicate that everything up to that point was not honest. It's like, Oh, right. That's a really yeah, good, heard point. That before. So, it's a good yeah, point. So candidly, yep. we're not getting a lot of engagement from you, our listeners, our audience in general. And we know you're out there. We know you're listening because we can see that people are downloading the show and listening to it, but we're not getting the kind of engagement that really kind of fuels us. Right. And so, Right. We're going to talk a little bit about that on the back half of the episode. And and I folks, I don't want you to feel like this is th- that you that we are blaming any of you for this. No, no. Oh, it's not, it's this on is us. us. Right. We are not creating an environment where that happens for whatever reason. I don't know why, but we're going to talk about that. Great. The first thing I want to share with you, Shannon, is something that uh, I have talked about on one of my other shows, uh, but it. it hasn't really come up on this show. Although I realize that the benefit of using one's business brain and systems in non-business life. And I will preface this by saying my health is fine. I mean, (laughs) as far as I know, as far as any of us can know, (laughs) but uh, I have, yeah, there are no issues with my health, but I have lost 35 pounds since August. Wow. Uh, Yep. Uh, Almost On, on purpose. Well, uh, sort of. So okay. this is okay. the beauty of a system where yes. you're just working the system and you're not focused on the results because weight loss, as as I'm sure we're all aware, is a an emotionally difficult thing for most of us to accomplish. Right. It's it's very difficult. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I had I had I will tell you up front. I had no issues with this. Now, I don't go around bragging to people. Oh yeah. It's super easy. Even though it is because I know that that will end me up homeless and divorced and with no friends and all those things. (laughs) So I don't like to be a jackass. Uh, and, and so that's part of why I haven't really talked about this, but then I, I saw people like, especially I went to that Pepcom event a couple of weeks ago and I've run into some people that I hadn't seen since the summer or whatever. My family, by the way, completely missed the fact that I lost like, you know, 30, I'd lost about 25 by the fine, (laughs) by the time I talked to them and and told them about this, they're like, wait, what? And I'm like, yep, still here, you know, been here every day. But I went to Pepcom and people saw me and they're like, wait a minute. Like, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. And then a few of them were like, is everything okay? Are you You okay? Yeah, Yeah, exactly. It's like, whoa, right. I didn't even think about this. So this all started, this is a side effect of a failed experiment. Uh, it's all started because 
I have, I think maybe I've mentioned them on the show. I have these lipomas. These are these little fatty lumps that sit underneath. Oh, that's right. They sit inside my skin. In fact, they they sit in the, in the layers of the skin. And by and large, I leave them alone. They are, you know, they're, they are benign. There's no yep. issue with them unless physically they cause me discomfort or, or pain or something like that. Right. And so I've had a few of them taken out over the years that have caused that kind of discomfort or pain. But if I had them all taken out, I'd look like Swiss cheese. I'd just have, you know, scars everywhere. They're super easy when they come out. It's like, you know, 20 minutes of surgery. And then I go home, like I drive home. It's right. not, it's not sure. a big deal. Yeah. This summer though, early this summer, I started having problems with them in my arms and they were affecting my ability to play the drums. And it was, and that in turn was affecting my like mental well being. And I really started, and I had a couple of them taken out of my left arm and that helped. And proactively I had a couple taken out of my right arm. I missed a couple on my right arm that I didn't realize were causing me problems or were going to cause me problems. And then it was like, oh, crap, I got to have more of these taken out. It really started growing on me. Uh, no pun intended. So yes. I uh, <laughs> so I, I did all kinds of research, as one might do, Googling even like the fringiest corners of the Internet, trying to find yeah. anyone that might have some way Price of different, maybe correct. Like didn't matter. There is nothing out there about this. No one knows why these things grow. They do know that once they've grown, they tend not to go away, but that's about it, you know? And so I, I bought this hundred dollar like ultrasound thing that no, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yep. Uh, tried all kinds of things. And then finally in, in my, you know, lizard brain, I reasoned and that, that should have been my first inclination that this was going to lead to failure. I let my lizard brain reason that, hey, if I stop producing as much fat in my body, I okay. will grow less of these things that are little fatty deposits, right? I mean, you know, like to a five-year-old, that that logic makes yeah. sense. Sure. Sure. Uh, so that's what, that's that was the catalyst to this. As soon as I had that thought, I also thought, you know, my portion, my definition of a normal portion size uh, of food has not changed since I was in my twenties and I'm not in my twenties anymore. I don't think I need as much food as I used to. So yeah, sure, let's, sure. let's relearn what a portion size is, what full means, right? You, you know, mm -hmm. let's, let's do all that. So uh, for the first couple of weeks, I, I used an app because uh, the best part is there's these apps out there that have like databases of all the food in the world. And you just put in what you're eating and it'll tell you how many calories it is. And from there, it is. And this is where people hate me when I say this. And I'm sorry, but I'm just going to say it from there. It's a simple math problem. Yes. You, you you consume less than you burn. Now, the, the trick to that math problem and the asterisk that that is true for for most of us, me included, is that your body will start burning less when it thinks it's getting less, right? So it's not quite as simple as a math problem in that your, you know, your metabolism will change as you are feeding your body less. And so you have to sort of address that and you have to be ready for that and all those things. But it really is a math problem. If you if you can figure out how much your body's burning and consume less than that, then you will start consuming your own yeah, reserves. Yeah, that's how it works. And so I went through all of this. And for the first couple of weeks, I was really obsessive about using this app. I used an app called Lose It. You could use my fitness, fitness pal, whatever. I mean, you could probably just find a database on the web if you didn't want to have it in your pocket. But uh, it, I mean, it's just, it, there, it, it makes it so easy because you can just know with, I mean, I'm sure yeah, there's cool. a, a you know, margin of error or something, but it's close enough. Yeah. And because I didn't know what a portion size was, so I had to trust something else. And that's why I used the app was to, to relearn what that meant. And the first two weeks were difficult, um, it, just in that I had to trust that the app was not going to lead me astray. Like if I consumed as much calories as the app was saying I was consuming, I was like, OK, well, that, that's it. You know, OK, okay, that's the end. All right, fine, I guess. And it, it took me a little bit for my brain to, to adjust. It did not. 
impact my uh, ability to grow these lipomas. Uh, I, I have had another surgery since then just to get them out. And it worked. Like, I, it's so much, my arm is so much better. I, like, I can play again. It doesn't impact me. It's amazing. But other than that, you know, the the the, the side effect of this experiment was I, I've lost like 35 pounds since. That's a big since, deal. Since the end of July, beginning of August. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. perfect. Now, I, I'm, I, I have... I also don't know what a normal portion size is. I have overcorrected. Clearly, I, I've lost 35 pounds. I, you know, once I realized I was losing weight, it was like, okay, well, wait a minute. What should my BMI be? Like, I, I might as well take advantage right. of this, right? You know, and so where I am now is probably where I need to land. I'm going to go a little bit down from here because I know I'm going to bounce off the bottom and come up. Like, I'm not going to, sure, sure. I'm not going to course correct it perfectly. <laughs> Uh, but you know, that's fine. The holidays are coming up. They'll help with that. No problem. Yep. So, yep. uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it's just, I just worked the system. I wasn't focused on the results. I wasn't yeah, focused I and, and therefore the system was very easy for me. And it wasn't at first I thought, well, you know, I'll, like 15 pounds, that's enough. And then, and that's at that point was when I was like, well, what is my BMI? What, what should that be? I, I looked all that up, but you know, and, and was like, oh, I actually, okay. I'll just stay with the system. That's fine. You know? And, but it would, at that point it was easy. It was like, well, yeah, the system is the system. That's, it's no problem. And I, I like for anybody interested, I'm still able to eat everything I want to eat. I still drink alcohol. Like I, I didn't have to cut things out i'm just more aware of what my portion sizes of any given yeah, thing should that's be. a big deal that's it uh, yeah and yeah. Uh, you know i've been pretty fortunate that i'm a pretty slim uh, i am person, too so, like i yeah. get full i get full very quickly yeah. now i like to eat and snack all day long that's my uh, that's the my key. downfall yep. but, <laughs> yeah yeah uh but yeah, i think the key is that the system that you're talking about is the way to go because if you're just focused on, I got to lose weight, I got to lose weight, you know, it's, I, I just see, you know, so many people, they do really well, but because there is no system long term in place, it's just easy to bounce back, you know, up and uh, like, like you mentioned. So, yeah, the, that's the, it. The I just, is, I relearned, I, I have to relearn again, obviously. I mean, I'm not at a dangerous point. I'm not like emaciated or yeah. anything, but I will be if I stay on this current path. Like, there's no sure. doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, get a balance. And adjust. So I, well, you've got the system in place and you can adjust that. Now. I'm just, all I have to do is tweak the system. That's it. It's like, yeah. oh, and, and, That's you good. know, at this point, the tweak to the system is, Let's let's add 400 more calories to the day. Yeah, that's cool. Well, hey, like, OK, <laughs> that's awesome. That's pretty and, easy. You know, yeah, yeah, that's great. It's a, it's a good story. And, and it, it, the power of systems, you know, we've talked about that forever. And, and that's really what I want to talk about today is the system that we have in place for business brain. And perhaps that we could uh, tweak that a bit. Hey, you know, one of my favorite movies, uh, actually, but both of them are the Horrible Bosses movies. They're fantastic, right? I mean, they're, I know they're sick and twisted and all that stuff, but they are fantastic. Just because I like the movie, though, doesn't mean that I want to be a horrible boss. And I know you're the same way. So are you ready to be your own boss yet? You can start, run, and grow your own successful business with Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform. And that's the sound you hear every time a sale is made on Shopify. Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Whether your thing is vintage teas or recipes for ghee, start selling with Shopify and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of your favorite businesses worldwide. With Shopify, you create an online store in your vibe you can discover new customers, and then you can grow the following that keeps them coming back. And Shopify's got all the sales channels sorted, so your business keeps growing from in-person POS to all-in-one e-commerce platform, even across social media platforms. 24-7 support and free libraries of educational content mean that Shopify's got you 
every step of the way. And that's how every minute new sellers around the world make their first sale with Shopify and you will too. Shannon and I have done it. You can try Shopify for free and start selling anywhere. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash SBS. Go to shopify.com slash SBS to start selling online today. Shopify.com slash SBS and our thanks to Shopify for sponsoring this episode. And speaking of things that are going to help your business, if you're ready to scale your service-based business, then we've got a podcast for you. It's Freelance to Founder. You know how your entire business can often get hung up on just one or two problems you can't seem to solve? Like if you could just solve this one thing, you can finally move your business forward. Freelance to Founder helps you make real progress in your business. It's a top-rated weekly show co-hosted by Clay and Preston, who have previously started, grown, and sold their own businesses. And now they offer free weekly coaching calls to freelancers, small business owners, and agency builders, helping them overcome their biggest hurdles and make real progress in their businesses. You can even join them for your own coaching call. To listen, just search Freelance 2 Founder wherever you get your podcasts or visit Freelance2Founder.com. That's Freelance T-O Founder.com on Apple Podcasts or wherever you choose to listen. Start breaking down barriers and make real progress in your small business with this must-listen show, Freelance to Founder. Thanks to Clay and Preston for doing this swap with us. All right. So, you know, they, they are freelance to founder. I, I feel like we uh, have given ourselves freedom to flounder here. Ah, <laughs> I like that. That's pretty good. That's I don't know. Good. I like, well, I, so I, like here's, I, I mentioned it in the intro of the show with, I, I do three podcasts, right? I do this one. I do gig gab, which is for musicians. And we did that crossover episode a little while back. Uh, That's right. I actually have the, the great business case study about the band Goose and how they have treated. I think they've treated the band like a like they like a startup, complete with financial cool. runway and everything. Yeah, no, they 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 grew too fast not to have done that. But anyway, if you want to hear that, go listen to Gig Gab because it's the second half of the of this week's episode, uh, three sixty three, I think. But anyway, I do I do this in Gig Gab those. These two podcasts started literally on the same day, almost eight years ago. And then Mac Geek Gab started what it would be, you know, almost 10 years before that. Um, it, and, and so I do all three of these shows. The other two shows get quite a bit of listener feedback every week. Uh, and, and I'll say, you know, Gig Gab doesn't get it every week. We get maybe 10 pieces of feedback a month. Mac Geek Gab is a Q&A right. show. So we get, you know, probably a thousand pieces of feedback a, a, a month, but you know, GigGab yeah. gets like 10, awesome. 10 to 15. And it's great because it, it's reactive. Sometimes people are agreeing with things we've said. Sometimes they're disagreeing. Sometimes they're sharing things that are completely irrelevant to what we've said. And then that sparks new topics. Uh, sometimes, you know, they'll share you know, cool things that they found that they use in their, their musical careers or otherwise or whatever. But there's just this, there's this, we have a, a group of fans that are engaged and we don't That's have right. that here. And I, and I'm, I'm careful. Not. I'm careful to say that I, I know we have a group of fans, or at least I think we do because we hear from you and there are some of you, but it's like a handful that we hear from regularly, but, you know, regularly for any one person is probably once every other month or so. Right. Uh, right. And that's great, but there's not enough of that happening to, to inform me that we are doing things in the right way or yeah, that so we, we keep do trying to tweet, tweet things, which I think is great. You know, yeah. we've changed format of the show the last year or so. Uh, we changed, you know, the name of the show to try to focus in on what we talk about a lot, you know, using your business brain. Um, and I think those things are great. And, but I think we need to continue on that path. And as we discussed, we, you know, we had a different topic for the show laid out and I, I typically do an outline for things just to keep me focused uh, during the conversation. And as we were 20, 30 minutes into that conversation, that's when you said, Hey, we should just do this on the, on the show. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's great. Yeah. You know? And I, I wonder like, 
one of the questions that I I ask, and I don't know the answer to this, I, I kind of need to do some reflection and listening back, is are we are we too are we too much in expert presenter mode when we do this show as opposed to conversation mode when we do this show because it's easy for us especially with the outlines that that you do yeah, yeah. and they are good out like i don't I, I like without them we'd get off track but is that bad and and maybe that's okay and yeah. maybe that's okay and then what happens is you know we when we do get off track or or we spend more time on you know an earlier section of the you know what whatever it was we were going to talk about then we get rushed and the end of the episode becomes this speed round of, well, let me just share all these things. Yeah. And that definitely but gets a, us into presentation. Yeah. I don't, I don't like that either, but yeah. it's also, it's not like, Oh, we had a, a show that we was super conversational just back and forth. And boy, we could track the engagement went up on that one. Right. 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 But my frustration with this show, like I love doing this show. It, it's great. I learn the most. I always say that and I really mean it. This has, um, this has been, I, I think, this show has been instrumental in me increasing my value and the value of my businesses. Just, just yeah. being oh. able sure. to talk about this stuff with you, both what we talk about in the show and what we talk about not in the show. And I'm wondering right. how much of the, what we talk about not in the show really should be in the show. Some of it just yeah, because maybe. of confidentiality can't, Yeah, like, you know, right. we're, we're right. two friends that, that share things yeah. with each other, but, but, Maybe we need to rethink that too. I don't know. The, maybe yeah. the, the frustrating part of this show for me is the there's I have all kinds of other interests and things that go on, and I know when I'm when I start to tweak things, I I create a feedback loop, and then it helps guide what I do. Oh, yeah. if I'm selling this product, I want to try this brand. How did that work? Oh, that didn't work good. Let me try something else. Okay. Oh, there it is. Or maybe you can't sell it this way. You have to do it this way. So I, I get this loop of uh, the a feedback loop that sends me in a certain direction that hopefully is successful and helps build success. The challenge with, with just the podcast is getting for us or for me in particular uh, is getting that feedback loop to know what adjustments to make. Yep. Oh, if it's because I've, we've talked about it before, maybe your show should be 15 minutes and we should do it twice a week. Maybe it should be a 10 minute show every day. Maybe it, you know, uh, maybe we need to have more interviews. Maybe we should have less, <laughs> you know, so we, we've tweaked and tried these different things. We wrote, we did a couple of guides, uh, the mistakes guides. We changed and, the name. Uh, we changed the name, <laughs> but it's still, does not get that loop of, hey, this is working. So my thought process after we talked for about 20 minutes is that I think another thing to try, and I think I, we may be, and you mentioned as well, is the podcast should be part of a larger system. And that system should lean on what we are, I think, what, what we are really good at. Our, um, I think our biggest strengths are helping people start a new business, leave an employer or a, yep. a corporate type thing and giving them the confidence and the skills to go out on their own and then help backing them up and, and changing the way they think about things, all this stuff. Uh, I think that is where we are the most effective um, versus, okay, you're going to go start up and you're going to go, get some venture capital money. I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, you know, I'm just a nuts and bolts guy that grinds it out. Has, you know, has done that over and over and over, tried new things, created companies, sold them, built another company, all that kind of stuff. Yep. But uh, so your idea of expanding out and using that outline to build threads on Twitter and to get our following going on there, I think that's a great idea. Um, I think we have to own it. We can't, I don't think we really can use our assistant to do it because we need to tweak it and see what we, kind of Yeah, we need we to get. pave the path. Yeah. But I will say, yeah. I, like, this show already is part of a bigger system. We already have a Twitter presence. We already have a Facebook presence. We have... Uh, but there's like, no feedback on it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is, is <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it, but, it, but it's not because... The, the, the lack of feedback isn't because we're not part of a bigger system. We that's are. True. Yeah. We, we, you know, it, the, the yeah. problem is that no part of the system is working. Gets feedback. Yeah. Yeah. And why... Like, I, you know, at first I thought, okay, well, 
may, you know, and this is when I say at first, I'm, you know, 18 months into this show, which again was 18 months into gig gab as well. Right. So, uh, you know, I kind of have a, a bit of a control group here, right. To, to, to look at, but 18 months into gig gab, neither show, which is 18 months into this one, uh, neither show was really getting any traction. You know, it was like, yeah. okay. And I remember you and I had this conversation, Paul and I. We've right? had it like, many right? times. We, we yeah. had that conversation over there. Like, is this worth it? And I'm like, no, man, like we got to stay the course. Trust me on this. Yep. Right. And, but, but I would say, trust me to you. I would say, trust me to Paul. But in the back of my head, I'm like, why in the world should they trust me? Like I've done <laughs> oh, you're this. the expert. Dude. <laughs> well, I know I've done it once with Matt yes. Geek Gab and had yeah. wild success, but th- I, like, I don't, I mean, I sort of know how we did that, but I don't know everything about how we did that. Like there were a bunch of happy accidents, right? You know, that yes. that all yeah, led sure. to this thing. We made some decisions, but we certainly didn't make all of them. You know, it just sort of happened. And and so in the back of my head, I'm thinking, crap, like, am I a one hit wonder with this kind of thing? You know, is 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 this it? And I've talked to other podcasters who have kind of taken a similar path and they're like, oh no, you know, the show that, Growing a show 17, 18 years ago was much easier than yeah. or building the core audience 17, 18 years ago was much easier than building a core audience today. Now, are, yep. are the same people listening to MGG today that were back then? Some, but certainly not the majority. However, you build up enough critical mass, those people start telling other people, even when the, when those initial people fall sure. off. The new people are already there and it, it becomes, I mean, you have to feed it and nurture it, but y- you know, it, it, it's easier, right? You know, it's, yeah. it's easier to keep the garden growing than to start a new garden. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But now seven, eight years in gig gab is getting that feedback loop. It's not huge, but we're also not a Q and a show like Matt geek gab is, but gig gab is seeing that it, like we are, a, a, a thing people yes. come to us they when we skip a week which we do sometimes you were far less diligent on that show than we are on this show when we skip a week we either hear about it from people w- w- while we're not you know on the weeks that we're not doing the show or when it comes back we get oh thank goodness you were back i was having withdrawal like those are literal comments that we got we took a three-week break recently because of just a lot of different things that were going on in in our mutual schedules that sort of screwed things up. Yeah. But uh, people are like, thank goodness you're back. Then, you know, we came back, I guess last week was our first episode back. And then in this one week, we got like eight pieces of, of mail from people about all kinds mm-hmm. of different things. It was like, Oh wow. There was pent up demand. Like this is crazy. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So like w- we are doing, we aren't, I don't want to say, I don't want to say we're doing something wrong here, but we're not doing enough right here. Yeah, and I, I would agree. The problem is, I have no freaking clue what right is. So ah, we got yeah, we we just right. got to keep at it, but we can't just yes. we can't just like we've done enough of the bullheaded persistence. We're just going to keep doing it. Bullheaded yeah, yeah, persistence has not gotten us there with this show, but but we haven't. I I feel like we haven't let it evolve as much as it could, Shannon, and I, I think part of that is our, we feed each other's control freak. Uh, part, I mean, maybe, I, I don't know this for certain. Okay. I, I'm yeah, saying yeah, sure. it like I'm certain, but it, this is literally a, a thought that's formulating as the words are coming out. We both love to control things. Um, and therefore we come into this, we come into each episode with hard and fast, uh, ideas about what we're going to talk about. And I, I wonder if that makes it too cold, stiff, too stiff. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like maybe, maybe next week we should just show up. That's a great, not prep anything, at least not intentionally prep anything. Some things will happen in our lives between now and then that, uh, that we will talk about. Like I, I didn't prep the, the the whole you know weight loss thing that I talked about yeah. at the beginning of the show, but it, it, as I was sitting down today, I'm like, 
you know, that really was a system. I, I should like, mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. is, this is how we use our business brain. Like let's, let, let, okay, I'm in, you know, and I, I, yes. you didn't know what I was going to tell, talk about until we came on the show. Um, I don't know that we have to necessarily it, or intentionally surprise each other. That that's a good thing. I think when, when it happens and it works, we can talk, you know, for a few minutes before we record, like, Hey, I want to talk about this today. I want to talk about this, but maybe we prep less. And see how that goes. It might be. Yeah. It might be I'll awful, it. man. Like, it, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you never know. You never yeah. know. Of you course, we would love can... your feedback on all of this. But we we, all, we do know that this is our problem to solve. Yeah. So. And, and I think that we could also uh, see, like, I would love to open it up to interviews again, but I don't want to have Boring the people interview. that are seeking. I don't want to ha- have people on that are seeking to be interviewed by us. Does that make sense? I, I totally I really know what you want, mean. Yeah. 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 Well, I want to have business owners on. I don't want people shilling. Their, their stores. Oh, I don't want yes. people whose primary goal is to just come on and shill. I want people who want yeah. to help and, and yes. teach you things. But part of that, that, that really is a, requires the feedback loop because we got to be able to hear from you guys and, and say, Hey, you know, that interview sucked. What, it, what like, yeah. why did you subject us to that? And, <laughs> exactly. and y- you know, like maybe that gets us to a point where if we do an interview with someone, if we think there's some value in it, we'll still publish it. But the intro, we say, Hey, look, this is going to be one of those interviews that you think sucks and parts of it do like maybe, I mean, maybe we just need more. <laughs> tell, your guest, tell your guest that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the, this interview, you weren't that great, but you had, you did say some good things. And so we're going to share those with our listeners. Like, I, you know, I don't well, know. And, and maybe that's a good thing is, is to change the way the interview is yeah. in the sense that yeah. we could have an interview and then you and I could, we could record that, but then we could dip in and talk about it oh. and say, you know, where this was, Hey, what did you think of this? Well, when they talked about this, I, I thought that was just the, and then let's play it and come back and talk about it again. Mm. And then we could dissect the interview after the fact, you know, that would be an interesting way to, uh, to people, do it. People right? would never want to come on this show. You never know. No, you, you know, we don't got to be a jerk about it. Right? No. We're both pretty savvy about, you know, yeah. uh, and it's okay to disagree. I mean, I think that's, um, I think, yeah, but when fine. you, when somebody gets uh, into shill mode, like, yeah, you know, that's that I don't like. And and we and that's part of why that's a big part of why we stopped doing so many yeah. interviews was too many it, coaches, yeah. too many uh, courses oh. uh, that everybody that's who wanted to come on the show. And it's like, yeah. oh, we had a few of those, but well, not not so much. Not uh, so much. Yeah. I didn't I didn't think it was that great. So in the same vein that we're talking about right now, trying to figure out how to increase engagement, create this good feedback loop. Um we changed it and I said, okay, we're just not going to have people on anymore and we'll, we'll focus on. And I, I do think we saw, uh, an uptick in downloads and we did. And, uh, and, and, you know. and the longevity, like the, the percentage of an episode that people listen to that, that's yes. one thing we can see that only from Apple podcasts. Meaning if you use the Apple podcast app, it does tell us that it doesn't tell us who you are or anything like that, but it does tell us how long, how much of the episode on average people listen to. And we yeah. absolutely saw those numbers be much higher when it was just the two of us talking versus the crappy interviews that, that we had. Some right. of the some of the interviews, the good ones, you know which ones those were. Those you folks listened all the way to the end. Absolutely. As I would, you know. But um yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Maybe we just we just need to be more ourselves here and, and maybe we That sounds great. I'm all yeah. for it. Yeah. I don't know, let's try it, it. I, you know, and push out in some other venues to yeah. see uh, what kind of, if any traction that we can get, use our, like you said, use our content in some different ways Yeah, um, and uh, see what we can get going with that. And perhaps reach out to some people that would teach us some of these different ways uh, to engage and grow our followers yeah. and, you know, all that kind of stuff and, and try to build this, larger ecosystem uh of of really connecting with people that want help yeah that, that's really what i want that's to do. where we that are I, that's, I want, yeah yeah i'm a, i'm a I, yeah that's i mean my whole thing is i want to help people that's that's so why that's what i do on I that's believe, what i think it, i do it, on this show and i i, I know yeah. i do on the other shows so <laughs> yeah 
That's yeah. Right. That's right. No, it's yeah. good. Yeah. So we'll, let, let's keep talking about this. Next okay. week will be no prep. We're just going to roll right into it, see what's happening. See I mean, happens. we follow enough of this stuff every day that there's plenty to talk about. Uh, what's going on in the economy, what's, you know, your business, your experience, your interactions with businesses around. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Let's do it. Let's well, same. I just want to keep trying new things. We, we, we have to. And and yeah. we'll figure out what works. You folks, hopefully, will tell us what works. You already tell us what doesn't. At least we think you do. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, we're obsessing over the wrong thing here. Maybe the, the business oh, yeah. audience... Maybe. Uh, doesn't respond. I don't. I don't know. It's my first business yeah, show I've be. ever done. Yeah, could be. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you folks are you know too occupied running your businesses to write us an email. And if that's a, that, if that's the case, that's okay. Like I don't want to discourage you from listening. I just want to figure out what we can do to push your buttons so that you want to tell us things. And I don't mean like yes. we don't want to turn into shock jocks here. Like I, I want to do this in a productive, like helpful way. So. But we are here to help. If you have questions, feedback at businessbrain.show. We, we really are, I, I, honestly, that candidly, not honestly, also honestly, but, but continuing in my path of honesty, candidly, if even one of you reached out and said, hey, I'm having a problem in my business, what do you guys think? If that happened this week, that would blow me away. I, and probably you yeah, too, Shannon. I like, I think that, yeah, that would warm my heart. Yeah, exactly. So... If you want to give us a gift, that's the gift. Let us help you. There it is. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. Visit Shopify.com slash SBS to get your uh, 14-day trial. And thank you, Shannon, for going with me on this crazy thing. And yeah, thank you. Keep living that charmed life. We'll see you next week.